The panelists at this State of the County breakfast touched on a wide range of topics, including the Hyundai plant, t spos funds, and even what laws they were happy to see passed in this previous legislative session. Featured panelists were from Effingham County, the cities of Rinkin, Guyton, and Springfield, the Effingham County School System, and Effingham Health. The panelists first discussed how they were going to deal with growth from the Hyundai plant and the recently announced C1 plant. Springfield City Manager Matt Morris explained that his city was blindsided by those announcements and wished they had more warning to prepare. If you don't have the capacity, water and sewer, all your infrastructure is not in place when that announcement is made, you're going to get flooded with residential growth and you're not ready to handle it. That's what happened to Springfield. We cannot absorb a lot, uh, many more homes right now, especially large scale residential, because we don't have the capacity. The leaders discussed the possibility of a water sewer commission across the county, something the panelists said was a serious thought several decades ago. Uh, you know, as far as a water sewer authority at this point, uh, I don't see it, and I don't see a real need for it, to be honest with you. The panelists also discussed the benefits the county and the municipalities have seen from t splost a penny sales tax passed in 2020 that goes towards transportation projects. Wesley Corbett, the chairman of the Effingham County Commission, cited t splost as a major factor in being able to invest in infrastructure all across the county. This is possible because of t splost so we appreciate it, and it doesn't slow down growth and the funding we need for the things we need. Another major topic of discussion, legislation. Senate Bill 162 would have repealed Georgia's Certificate of Need program, a law that requires private companies wishing to build a hospital in a community to first prove there is a need for it. Those rules are in place to prevent private companies from taking all of the patients who have insurance and leaving county health systems with only uninsured patients or patients on Medicaid, which Lamisha Hunter Kelly with Effingham Health says can force rural hospitals to close their doors. The bill was defeated this past session, but could be introduced in the next session. We know that we will see that certificate of need come um, January of 2024, and there's also a study committee going on this summer. And so when we put out our um, call to action, we ask that each of you respond to the local legislators to know that it's important to protect your local hospital system. All the panelists encouraged residents to get involved in their local government and attend city council, county commission, and school board meetings. Reporting in Effingham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.